Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, why do I do these things to myself? G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sergeant Wombat. And uh, today we're doing a little bit different stuff, okay? Now, I'm doing something I would normally hate doing, unless it's a bike night thing, okay? And that's visiting the old city, okay? I hate it here. So, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of my suffering. And, uh, well, I was heading down here for a pure sound video, and another video idea struck me, and that's just, um, how does the old little boy and go, or girl, whatever you describe your bike as, handle the old city riding? Now, I've done this a few times, and I can tell you, right now, boy, it's pretty good, okay? It's pretty good. So, I thought we'd do a little cracker. I don't know how good the GoPro is going to be. I have set it up for a little bit of nighttime viewing, so hopefully she's done well, all right? Hopefully she's doing well. Um... I will try and navigate my way as best I can through this joint because, well, there's a lot of things about Melbourne that I'm sure you've heard overseas and that stuff like hook turns and crazy shit like that. So believe me, if it ain't the crackheads who confuse you about the city, it's the hook turns. And, well, once you learn what they are, they're really not that complicated, but the idea of a hook turn is just a shit time altogether, <laughs> alright? So, I'm probably not going to go deep into the city, I'll probably stick to more of the fancy looking places because... Well, for one, I can't be fucked riding through that whole deep section right now. And two, well, it's just pretty around this side, so we're going to go to the pretty section, okay? Sound good? Fantastic. So, yes, there's a lot of roadworks going on in the city at the moment, which is, as you can imagine, absolute hell for traffic. <laughs> oh, is the bus going to cut me off? Oh, he almost... He wanted to. He wanted to. Yes, but as you can imagine, when roads are closed in the city where you, there's so many, like, you can't turn rights here and left here and left that there... You can imagine it would be an absolute nightmare for some things, and it is, it's an absolute shit show. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's topic, which I have told you, and that's how does ye old Rebel 500 handle the old commute to the city? <laughs> I can assure you, she's a fantastic bike for the city, man. So the Rebel 500 is a very small, very nimble little thing, okay? That's the joys of having such a bike like this one. And um, when you're actually in the city, Low speeds, because the bike isn't like stupidly powerful and begging to be fanged out all the time, she handles stuff very, very well. Ooh, we're going to go here actually, not this way. Um, so when you're doing quick lane changes, trying to slam shit into gear, the bike, she just she just keeps on giving, mate. She takes it and she takes it and she takes it well. Can I sneak in here before these lights change? I can. Remember how I just said the bike's good for the city stuff? That's why. Man. There are some bikes that struggle, and this is not one of them. Oh, my visor keeps fogging up. As much as I hate this place, the buildings are still pretty. Now, for some reason, this place has been under construction since the dawn of fucking time. So, it's always a 40 zone. So, this is the one downside about the city, and that's the speed limits are always slow, okay? Now, in the Rebel, you have a bike that doesn't need to be revved out as much. Although it's a sportier engine, it's still a nice and small engine, which means it handles the lower speeds quite well. So when you're ride, riding around with lots of traffic, you're not really feathering the throttle to try and keep yourself alive, like you would be on like, I don't know, a bigger displacement bike with a hell of a lot more torque maybe, or you know, the sportier bikes. She doesn't like to fall over, which is great. Some of those bigger bikes, nimble ones, really like to topple over, like um, Hughes VF750, uh, see, is it? The, Mag the, the Magna, you know, Honda Magna, huh? Do it with Dan, had one of those, those bikes. At slow speeds, like to fall down, believe it or not. So, this isn't one of those bikes. She likes to lean in nice and smoothly. And do a light, nice little bit of dance while she does it. So, the Rebel Whilst Nimble does not like to tip in and fall down like the Magna does. Well, some people might like that, believe me. In the city, you'd want that bit of stability. It's a nice, small bike. It's not a very long bike like you can find some of the other ones. So. In terms of actual like mobility and navigation through smaller sections such as a lot of cars or tight spots, this bike really ain't going to struggle with a lot of that stuff, man. Which is what like the best part about it, because in a lot of these places you really don't want to be struggling. Man, I hate this place. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed in the city. It's brighter and prettier to look at. <laughs> I'm just going to sneak out way through here. Don't mind me. Hello. Don't mind me. Perfect example of why the Rebel's so good, man. Any bike can do that, but look, we're talking small displacement. If you live in a really congested area and you don't want to buy a big sport bike and you'd like your cruisers, get a Rebel. Don't get anything bigger. 
if you like the Rebel aesthetics but you want a bit more oomph, just buy a Rebel 1100, man. Because I assure you, you will really never need more in the city-like space, okay? Now we're heading, we're heading back into the more congested section, which is good. This is what we're after, all right? And let me know. Do you ride in the city a lot? Do you ride in the open areas? If you're American and you're not living in like California or New York, Chicago or Seattle, I'd imagine, you probably have a little less traffic to deal with than most places. But, uh, man, if you don't live in a congested place, enjoy every minute of it, because God, there's nothing worse than living in congestion. Somehow, some people really enjoy it, and I don't really understand. I don't know, oh, is that San Andreas? Holy shit, what are you living in? Now look, the city is good for one thing, there's a biker, and that's photography. <laughs> the city's a wonderful place for that. But if you hate, like, dealing with things, like, I'd imagine a turbo booster probably wouldn't be your friend in the city, okay? <laughs> You're never really going to get it fast enough to spool anyway, but the point being is, like, the bike like my one, you're never really fighting the bike. It's always just perfect to handle, okay? It doesn't struggle with anything you give it. It doesn't overly force yourself. It's not fighting you at every step of the way like some other bikes. It just does what you want it to do and does it comfortably, you know? Oh, police, police, police! Please be good boy. If you like your attention as well, the rebels certainly get it in the city. So I know that some people buy bikes purely because they look nice and people want to you know, admire from a distance. Because some people like the clout, man. Rebel 500, it, although diehard biker boys think it's shit, it still gets attention because most people don't know much about bikes. And that's just the uh, the old truth about it, because, oh, uh, look, man, my hot road glide, this, that, and the other, or my V-Rod, most people don't know shit about bikes, dude. Everyone thinks my bike is a Harley half the fucking time. You know, the big Honda badges on the side don't give much away, <laughs> unfortunately. Or the big Honda letters. So, if clout's what you're after, man, and you like the city, the Rebel 500 is definitely a good bike in here. Alright. So, uh, another thing I can really tell you about this bike is the fact is a lot of the uh, bigger bikes get hot. Okay? Very, very hot. This bike does not get hot ever. I've never had an instance with my Rebel where I've sat on it and be like, Jesus, I am sweating me balls off. Because the Rebel, truth be told, I'm like a Panigale or something. The Rebel really doesn't suffer from that same... Um, heat problem like unless it's like 35 degrees which well it only in summer and you're not really riding in temperatures like that too often that like you're not really bothered by the temperature of this bike it's a really good thing about it i'd say because some bikes you ride them like the mt09 gets warm all right jason's bike gets warm i can't see out of my visor anymore <sighs> yeah, like jason's little 250 gets warm shit even um the old ktm duke Oh, Duke 390. The RC 390 got fucking hot compared to this bike. This bike it just doesn't get hot at all. Like, it's ridiculous. It's fantastic, some would say. But as you can see... Oh, we can't go that way, it seems. Well, I guess we'll go this way. Beep, beep. See what I mean? Easy to navigate, mate. Can't go wrong around here. We're just going to let the people through... Okay. Very confusing location, I swear to God, sometimes. <laughs> but the whole long and short of this answer is, if you really need a bike to go around the city, and uh, are you asking if this bike is good for that? Trust me, man, you will never be happier. This bike for the city riding, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. That's keeping it long and sweet. But I feel like this whole video, I've kind of been distracted with my tangents but yeah I feel like I got the point across like you like riding man just fucking take a rebel it's great <laughs> believe me you will not be disappointed fuel economy fantastic size small nimble yes powerful enough fantastic man oh the only downside about Melbourne City besides the hook turns and all the traffic all the time is the fact that fucking it's 40 k's everywhere so you get into second gear and you're like okay and then you're just in third to cruise if you put it in fourth gear you're really going to start struggling okay Hello, no one's crossing, good. So, besides that being the main deterrent from coming to this place, like, there's many reasons I hate this fucking location, but I tell you what, if I ever need to come to the city, it ain't gonna be in a car, that's for sure. 
it wouldn't matter what bike I was riding, but the Rebel, because it's such an easy bike to ride, it is something, there's a clock turn, it's something um, absolutely phenomenal for the task at hand. Like, you're never really going to be battling yourself or, sh like, pissed off because of the clutch is heavy. The Rebel clutch you could literally do with your pinky finger, it's so fucking light. Um, power delivery, lovely and smooth. It does not have any, like, torque jump to the point where you're like, ah, oh, fuck my wheelie. It's just a lovely, smooth, easily controlled bike that does not let you down at all man like ever so honda she ain't gonna break down on you that's for sure it ain't gonna overheat like the chance of that happening is fucking nil <laughs> but man if you ever have to come to the city a honda rebel is definitely a great bike to do like any naked bike would also be good but if you have a honda rebel and you're questioning it man don't even worry about it <coughs> Ugh. the honda rebel will not not let you down at all Oh man, I'm not looking forward to the next few days for sure. The next few days are going to be bloody pissing down in the rain. So I thought I'd do a nighttime vlog. So uh, see how it pulls up and see how I feel like about the whole thing. Because if it turns out good, I'm going to be absolutely loving it. Because it means I can do more as much as I hate coming here. But hey, the things you do for content, man, you just, you got to do it. <laughs> it's very pretty down there. I kind of wanted to see what it was. But uh, it's a tram road. Sparky, sparky. Oh, police! Let's go check out what's happening on right? was that Flinders? Oh, for God's sakes, man! Every fucking set of lights here! Yeah, something's happening down there. I couldn't tell you what it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much all I have time for for the day. I hope you enjoyed everything. Because you certainly must have enjoyed it more than I have, because, well, you get to pause and click off this video, whereas I have to ride my asshole. <laughs> So, I will do just that. But until that time is done, take it easy, keep it cheesy, ride safe, kids, and as always, have a good day. Peace! Bye-bye!